Hi, my name is Steve. In my school, there is this bully named John. He was 10 feet tall, and it was even scary to be near him. As he walked in the hallway, it trembled with each step he took. He mostly liked to bully people shorter than him. Even if you were one centimeter shorter than him, he would slam you into a locker with great force. The only way you could escape the wrath of John was to give him your lunch money. Most kids would go days without lunch because of him. If you did not, he would lock you in the basement at the bottom of the school, and you were rumored to never come back. In the basement, there was rumored to be no light, and many people say that there are many eyes looking at you from everywhere. Some of you even say that it's like a night sky in there, until you realize that the stars are eyes. The worst rumor of all is about the clock man. He lives in the basement, and he seems to be normal at first. As you look closer, he has scales, razor-sharp teeth, and some kind of substance dripping from his mouth. Some say that it's blood. When you first enter the basement, you first hear tick-tock, tick-tock. Then you meet his glowing eyes. People say that the number of ticks and talks you hear is how many years left in your life. One day, my mom forgot to give me lunch money in the morning. So when it came to the time of the day where I gave my lunch money away, I had nothing to give. So he slammed me on the door to the basement and pushed me inside. I pounded on the door with all my might and put all of my body weight on it. I heard tick tock, tick tock. I screamed and pushed my body on the door. He seemed to be not there anymore, so the door slided open. I had no time to count the ticks and talks. For the rest of the year, I managed to stay clear from John. When I, well, when a new year started, I grew up to be 11 feet. Now taller than John, I had the power over him, so I used it when I saw him, trying to push another kid in the basement. I sprinted to him and pushed him instead. I heard screaming from the other side of the door as I slammed it, but then it stopped. I felt guilty think that, thinking that I was no better than him, so I opened the door. No answer. So I sighed and went in to find him, making sure that I kept the door open. There I saw him, crying in the corner with that thing, the clock man. I pulled him out with all the might I had. Many kids have been in the basement, and they go missing and never come back. John screamed and said that he only heard one tick, and he saw the clock man. Ever since that happened, he, had, he has never been the same, thinking that something might happen to him. A year later, he vanished and never came back. I wondered what happened to him.